Hi everyone, it's Margaret here. Uh, just to do a quick uh, video to show you some of my latest projects that I've been working on. Now most of these will be listed on my Etsy shop and I wanted to get them uh, completed uh, before Christmas and I think this should be it now. Um, I probably won't be um, having any time at all for uh, crafting uh, until after the holidays. But anyway, um, some of these items are for sale, some of them are not. Um, these teapots, um, I haven't decided yet whether I'm selling all of them or not, but um, a couple are on reserve, so I, I, I don't know. I just wanted to show you, just so you get an idea, what some of these different types of teapots can look like uh, if you decide to make them. And I know a lot of the ladies are, uh, are starting to make them now, and uh, <clears throat> Bob made some really gorgeous ones as well, so they are available also in her shop. Um, if you miss out. Anyway, this is one here um, that uh, I used a beautiful ivory damask fabric as a base and it's got uh, a pretty little uh, Victorian couple um, in the front, some flowers, some trim, some pearls and the ruffles. The back is just plain. I didn't do pockets on these ones so they're really just for decoration and uh, that is that one. And then I have this one that is a different type of shape. Um, I tried a different template for these. Now again, ladies, if you want to make them, they um, you can find different uh, teapots on Google or Pinterest. All you have to do is um, expand them to the size that you want and use it as a pattern to cut out your, uh, your teapot. So this one is really full of uh, different uh, pearls and embellishments. I really love that. And I used uh, some gold uh, embellishments uh, to actually um, uh, create um, an authentic looking um, uh, feet on that one with a little tassel and I used a beautiful uh, little uh, bling and pearl brooch on the top of that one and there's the back again with the pretty pearls so that's that one and this one uh, again um, same type of style um, a little bit different shape again just using some dangle trim on the bottom and a little bit of feather, a little bit of pearls, a silk flower that I made. You know, the sky's the limit. You can make these in any different uh, shape, size, um, uh, theme, anything you want. And uh, here, of course, that beautiful uh, uh, sequined and pearled uh, wedding dress applique that I used on the bottom. And there's the back. And I had this uh, actual bow it was a bow hair clip and what I did is I removed the uh, the center pearls on it and then I was able to fold it and that became my uh, my teapot cap so there's that and the last of the teapots is this shape here and again it has a, a pretty lady um, having her tea with some uh, handmade uh, rosettes actually this one is not this one I had in my stash some fringe and again the back um, and that is that one now I had an idea going with the, the teapot theme it would be nice to make some teacups so I kind of played around with a few shapes and I came up with these pretty little uh, little teacups now these really make a nice gift they're um, they're ever so pretty and uh, I um, these ones are actually done so that there's a pocket and you can put anything inside. In this case, I put some uh, tea bags in there, some red rose tea bags and these, these little sacks. And uh, you can uh, give these as a gift again. Uh, the pretty fringe, this pretty little girl serving tea. And uh, they're just so pretty and uh, they came out really nice actually. So that's another idea. All you need to do again is get a teacup um, on Google or Pinterest, print it out and use it as your uh, as your template. So there's that one and then there's this pretty little one. It's just has a, a pretty lady on the front. I used a little bit of bling, a little bit of pearl, some seam binding. Again, it's a pocket so you've got your tea inside ready to uh, to give. So there's that one. And then there's uh, this one which I've used a um, gold thread embroidered uh, ivory pattern, uh, fabric, which is really pretty, and some pretty uh, pearl trim. This one says, a uh, cup of tea and think of me. And again, with the tea inside, they do make a nice gift, a little gold tassel at the bottom. There's that one. 
And this one is a little blinged out with the uh, wedding dress applique pieces uh, that I've done all around a little vintage lady in the middle. This is black and white. And I made this bow out of silk, uh, two pieces, and I in the center I put a little uh, uh, pearl and crystal um, a button in the middle with a little bit of feather, softens it right up. And again, it's ready, it's ready to go. Next one again. Pretty lady having her tea in the center image and again using some wedding um, dress appliques that really blinged it up. These lovely uh, inverted uh, tea drop uh, pearl trim in the uh, all around the uh, the image, some seam binding and some uh, uh, gorgeous iridescent uh, dangle pearls, some other little uh, ribbon and pearls dangling from the bottom and that is that one. And the last one is more of a Victorian style, again done in the um, in the uh, rose colored uh, velvet. Um, and it's got the, I'm sure everyone has seen this cute little image of two little girls having tea. And uh, again, some dangly bits all around, some gorgeous pearls at the bottom, and uh, um, handmade uh, velvet rose. And then again, it says a cup of tea and think of me with a little packet inside, and there's the back. So, if you're making teapots, ladies, now you can also add the teacups, and uh, the teacups uh, will, most of them will be available on my Etsy shop, so um, I hope you have a look, and I hope you like them. So thanks for watching. I'll be back again just to show you some Christmas ornaments that I've made, and I'll be back soon for that. So thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.